How do we identify the big and small fraction in six? If two or more fractions have the same numerator, then the fraction with the largest denominator has the smallest value. Here, the numerator said 8. In this case, 8 over 45 becomes the smallest fraction. Arrange this fraction in ascending order. In ascending order, we're going to start from the smallest fraction and then we arrange sequentially to the biggest fraction. Here, the numerators are 3. 3 over 17 is the smallest fraction, followed by 3 over 11, 3 over 8, and the biggest fraction here is 3 over 4. Therefore, to arrange in ascending order, we start with 3 over 17, less than 3 over 11, 3 over 11, less than 3 over 8, and 3 over 8 is less than 3 over 4, which is the biggest fraction. Arrange this fraction in descending order. To arrange in descending order, we start with the biggest fraction. In this case, 8 over 10 becomes the biggest fraction, followed by 8 over 15, 8 over 21, and 8 over 45 becomes the smallest fraction. Another way to order fractions is to look at the given method. If two or more fractions have the same denominator, then the fraction with the largest numerator has the largest value. Here, the denominators are 12, then the fraction with the largest numerator, that is 11, becomes the largest fraction. Arrange this fraction in ascending order. Again, we are going to start from the smallest fraction and then we we'll move sequentially to the biggest fraction. The smallest fraction here is 3 over 2, followed by 5 over 2, 7 over 2, and then 11 over 2 becomes the biggest fraction. Arrange this fraction in descending order. Now, in descending order, we're starting with the biggest fraction, which is 15 over 17, followed by 10 over 17, then 8 over 17, and the least fraction is 6 over 17. In this one, we have different numerators and different denominators. In number 2, we have different numerators and different denominators. In that case, to order the fraction, we use the LCM method. Arrange this fraction in ascending order. Now we're going to use the LCM method. Find the LCM of 12, 8, 6, and 10. And the LCM of 12, 8, 6, and 10 is 120. 120 divided by 12, we have 10. 10 times 2, 30. 120 divided by 8, we have 15. 15 times 5, 75. 120 divided by 6, we have 20. 20 times 1, 20. 120 divided by 10, we have 12. 12 times 8, we have 96. This multiple becomes the numerator. The numerator. Why the new denominator is 120? Now they have the same denominator. The first one with the biggest numerator is the largest fraction. We are going to start with the smallest fraction and then we move sequentially to the biggest fraction. The smallest fraction is 1 over 6, followed by 3 over 12. Followed by 5 over 8, and then the largest of the fractions is 8 over 10. Number 2. Arrange this fraction in descending order. The numerators are different, the denominators are different. You're going to use the LCM method. The LCM of 10, 9, 3, and 5 is 90. 90 divided by 15, we have 6. 6 times 7, 42. 90 divided by 9, we have 10. 10 times 8, 80. 90 divided by 3, we have 30. 30 times 2, 60. 90 divided by 5, 18. 18 times 4, 72. We are ranging in descending order. So we are starting with the biggest fraction and the most exact to the smallest fraction. The biggest fraction here is 8 over 9, followed by 4 over 5, followed by 2 over 3, and the least fraction is 7 over 15. I hope this video has helped you to know how to order your fractions. See you in the next video.